Hello, my name is CKC, Karateka. I hope you're doing well this week. My goal this week is to pass on Teki Shalom. So I'm gonna do this in three bursts. First one will be a choreography review or teaching for people who haven't seen the kata before. Second round, I'm gonna emphasize some of the major points to focus on in practicing Teki Shalom. And then third round will be small points on the rhythm of the kata, so you can practice it in the actual sequence. Your goal is to go through the kata and do your best version and send it to me. It won't be perfect, no one's kata is perfect, but do your best so I can provide feedback that's specific to your body so you can actually improve your kata to the next level. Okay, so let's start off with the choreography. This kata and usen is all one line, and the entire thing is kibadachi. So you don't need that much space, it's one of the reasons why I picked this kata. You need maybe only one or two meters along each side from your center point. So let's try it out together. Musubidachi, dai. And then you announce the name of the kata, teki shodan, yoi. So left hand is over right hand, overlapping at the fingertips. So slowly, I'm going to go through Tabala Sensei's version of the kata. Okay, so first, we're going to do teki shodan to get the choreography. As a note, I'm going to teach the version that's taught by Tabala Sensei. So this has some stylistic differences to versions you'll find online. 90% of the kata is the same, but if you see some slight differences, if you look up videos online, don't be worried, there are these small points of difference. Okay, so let's go through. Musubidach, dai. Announce the kata, teki shodan, yoe. Hei sukudach, and left hand is over right hand, overlapping at the fingertips. So let's go through slowly. One, looking to the right, drop. Two, lift and slowly open in kibadach. Looking to the right. Three, elbow, four, kamai, five, gedanbarai, six, kagizuki, seven, step, eight, uchiuke, nine, round, block, ten, look, one, sweep, strike, two, look, Three, sweep, strike. Four, kamai. Five, haie. The entire kata now repeats the other way. It's like mirror symmetry. Six, open. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, step. Two uchiuke, three, four look, five, six look, seven, eight, nine. Hey, yame. Right foot comes back. Hey, so much same as we started, and then feet open. Bow. Okay, so. One more time through, I'll try and talk out the different points. You saw the majority of the kata, it's all kibadach, all stepping across. Use your waist to turn. Let's go through the choreography one more time. Musubidach, dai. Teki shodam, yoi. One, two, open, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, one, turn, two, look, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, step, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, yummy. Slowly, kyote, hey. Okay, so that's it for the slow version. Okay, so once you have the choreography down, the next major thing is the 
what I think is the most important part for beginners and intermediate students to focus on. So for me, there's three things that I emphasize. This kata in particular develops these three things. First is neck and eye gaze. So being able to make sure you are looking completely in the direction of your power line. This kata has three directions of looking, either straight, completely to the right, or completely to the left. Avoid the use of using your peripherals. So try not to look at the camera just with your eyes and not your neck. Your entire body should be aligned in the direction. Here's the first point. Second point is waist flexibility, making sure you can turn all the way for the different movements. And the last part is kibalach, making sure that your feet and your stance stays grounded the entire time. So let's go through and I can focus on first the neck and also the hip movement parts. Musubidach. Hey! Take your shalom. Yoi. One. Look right. Two. Open. Make sure your neck is looking all the way to the right, not just with your eyes. Three. Waist turn to the right. Try not to do just your hands. Three. Four. Look all the way to the left. Continue looking left. Five. Six. Seven, keep looking left. Eight, look forward. Nine. Ten, look left. This entire count is dedicated to the neck movement. One, sweep, turn, waist is turned. Two, look right. Three, sweep, turn. Four, five. Oh yeah. Six, continue looking left. Seven, Waist to the left, eight, look right, nine, ten, one, touch, two, look forward, three, continue looking forward, four, look right, five, waist to the right, six, look left, seven, eight, nine, hey! Let's get eight. Okay, so the points are, your neck has to turn. Even for some of these moves, it's quite difficult. You have to strain your neck to be able to look towards the direction you're gonna attack. Second, try and practice your hip waist flexibility. So sometimes what I like to do is, even without the kicking, turn, 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 turn. Or even without the hands, just turn, turn, Try and increase your range of flexibility. See how far you can turn and still be able to do this movement so that your oblique muscles, your sides get stronger so you can apply the hip rotation. Last part, which is difficult for everyone. Try and make sure your knee doesn't collapse. As you turn, there's a tendency for this. You need to try and maintain the posture while your waist rotates. So it's good to rotate a lot not at the expense of the knees. It's good to keep the stance, but not at the expense of hip rotation. So try and have both, turn, turn, and you'll develop both strengthening and flexibility at the same time. It's once through for rhythm, so you're not just practicing the kata as a metronome. So you'll have the entire bundle. When you give the challenge to me, so when you send your video in, do your best, and I'll see what I can give you feedback on, whether it's rhythm points, or kihon stability points, or if it's like the neck or the eye gaze details. So let's go through once with them. I'll go slow, but I'm gonna show how the different moves are coupled to each other, as opposed to just metronomic in, uh, in the movement itself. Feet together. Day. Take your shadam. Yoi. Okay, so together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, oh yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, hey, yummy, kyotsuke, lei. 
Okay, so the main things to keep track of, notice there's many pairs of rhythms. One, two, three, four. These parts are paired. The neck movement and the hip rotations. One, two, three, four. These are paired. So try and when you practice this, emphasize this coupling. Even if you're not going fast, you still want to showcase this type of coupling rather than just metronomic in your path. Okay? So enjoy the kata. Take a shonen is extremely foundational. Practice it through a couple times for the week. Do your best recording. Send it to me from the front. And I'll give you your best feedback. And then we can move forward this week. Okay? See you next time.